Uh, welcome everyone. In this video, we will explain uh, how to implement clean architecture in ASP.NET Core. So it is the project setup for ASP.NET Core, how to implement clean architecture. So first I will come to the theory, just I will show this diagram to you. Okay, so in this diagram we have these layers, domain, application, infrastructure, and framework, our uh, presentation layer. So first we will come to the domain layer. What we will do in the domain layer? So I have um, created the project a solution and I created uh, four projects in that. Okay, in this solution I created four projects. The application, the domain, infrastructure, and also this is the web presentation layer. Okay, so the first uh, layer that we said that we will uh, explain that is the domain layer. We will come here. Yeah, the domain layer. Um, the domain layer is for to implement the entities. For example, in this system, we have a car entity with us. Okay, so I will just click on this and show to you. Yeah, it is the car entity that we would like to implement in this uh, project. Okay, so here you will de you will define all properties for the car. Okay, ID, name, model, and color, etc. Whatever that has and the domain layer is independent it means that it is not dependent on any other layer okay it is independent it doesn't depend on any other layer also we can call it a core layer or domain layer whatever that so now we will come to the second layer yeah the second layer is the application layer the application layer is dependent on domain what we will do in the application layer I will come here yeah in application layer we have interfaces okay so the first uh, one for example I have created iCar repository okay this is an interface with us in this interface we are just it this interface is for um, to access the data okay it is for accessing the data it is for data access layer okay it it will be implemented in the data layer for in the infrastructure layer okay we just defined it we just I declared the functions here okay and uh, we will implement these in infrastructure layer okay so uh, the second interface the interface with us is uh, for I have named it iCar services okay the services the services are for these are the use cases that application layer know how to implement or how to um, write that use case okay this is just for the application layer. Just the application layer knows how to implement that functionality, that use case. Okay. The first this interface like our repository. This is for data access layer. Okay. It is for data access layer. The data access layer with us is infrastructure. Okay. We will implement this iCar repository in infrastructure layer but the iCar service this interface this is for these are the use cases that we would like to implement okay we will implement these uh, uh, this interface here in application layer okay just the application layer know how to how we um, implement this use case okay how to retrieve the data how to uh, deal with that okay it is application layer to know about that so we implemented this icar services okay this interface it is implemented here in application layer i have implemented here car repository okay i implemented that here how to uh, implement that and how to use that that is for that uh, the application layer is dependent on the um, domain layer okay and now we will come to the third layer that is infrastructure with us okay now we will come to the infrastructure uh, in infrastructure layer it is the data layer okay So here we will define our database and also database context class and other repositories for implementing domain name interfaces here. Okay, it will retrieve the data, it will deal with the database and also we will create migration in this uh, project. The fourth project with us is the presentation our user interfaces. So this will um, use the HTTP requests to get the data. Uh, and to show that on the browser so it is the presentation layer so it was just an overview of the project structure uh, of a clean architecture implementing in .NET Core so in next videos we will implement 
a clean architecture and we will create an example for that so in this video I just showed you how to structure the project uh, for implementing the clean architecture so if you like the video so please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching